LJ Star is dedicated to designing products that help you look better. And we pride ourselves on providing solutions to keep your plants safe, sanitized, and productive. One of the best ways we do that is with our quality line of sanitary fittings. A sanitary fitting or clamp is used to seal two ferrules together quickly and securely without creating sites where contamination can collect or that can harbor bacteria. Today I'll address some common issues like galling and share some of the best practices to help you decide which type of clamp is best for your application. When it comes to safety and reliability, it's all about connections. That's especially important for our pharmaceutical and biotech customers where pipes and tubes are frequently disassembled for cleaning and equipment reconfiguration. A reliable leak-free connection is imperative to meet FDA requirements. It's equally important to find the right fit, especially in applications where sanitary clamps are required to perform at high pressure and high temperatures. Let's start by addressing the most frequently asked questions customers have about ha have about how to use sanitary clamps. What effect does a different profile have on a clamp's performance? A superior clamp design, such as the ones LJ Star offers, enables increased performance with less maintenance. These include a wider profile and tighter tolerances to ensure more repeatability from part to part. Because these clamps are investment casts, there's also less tooling degradation from one batch to the next. What do I need to know about my clamps are fabricated? The process used by investment cast tooling results in a high repeatability of tool quality. What's most important to know is whether the, the materials are fabricated according to the ASTM A351 industry standard specification for pressure containing parts and whether they are BP compliant. What should our inspections focus on before installing sanitary clamps? In a proper installation, the gasket is slightly compressed, not overly so, and the bead is centered in the ferrule groove. As you can see in the diagram here, the gasket's inside diameter should be aligned with the pipe's inside diameter so that there is no intrusion or void. The alignment here is critical. It must be precise and even all the way around. Any irregularities will result in inconsistent or incomplete compression. During ant clamp installation, how do we avoid misalignment and other issues? Customers often have issues with misalignment. The first thing to note is never use a clamp to pull pipes and components into alignment. The value of angular misalignment should be reduced for increasing flange size. A maximum of perhaps one to three degrees is acceptable, again, depending on ferrule size. In a rigid scenario where no deflection can take place and the gasket must absorb this misalignment. In other words, the misalignment percentage should be minimized regardless of the ferrule diameter. Possible gaps due to misalignment would be three millimeters for four inches at one degree. That's why LJ Star clamp design shown here ensures that the clamping force is delivered at the correct gauging point on the ferrules. The standard is reference ASME BP in comparison to other designs. Since the standard clamp applies the load on a point plane, the out of flatness or manufacturing defects are more tolerable to this design. Which gasket material is best and what size should we specify? Selecting the appropriate gasket is essential to maintaining a safe, clean, and leak-free hygienic connection. Temperature ratings and resistance to degradation are key factors in determining the best gasket material for a particular application. When deciding on a gasket material, you should also consider compatibility of the material being transferred, including cleaning solutions, along with the operating pressure and temperature of the system. The checklist shown here can help you identify the right one for your individual need. At our site, workers tap the clamp with a plastic mallet before tightening the nut. Is this the recommended way to install sanitary clamps? It's always a good practice to tap the clamp with a plastic mallet before tightening the nut. After ferrules are welded, there is a deviation in the flatness, depending on the ferrule length. 
The addition of manufacturing variances in the clamps also adds to the tolerance buildup on assembly. Tapping the clamp in place with a hammer to align the ferrules ensures that the union settles in place prior to tightening the nut. This technique is also useful in light of the fact that in a thermal environment, materials expand and become tighter. So a quick tap is part of many companies' maintenance best practices. It is also important to point out the various applications require specific hygienic clamp nut configuration. This is pertinent for applications such as steam only, hygienic gas only, or process fluids only. I refer customers to the following diagram. We couldn't open our clamp because the bolt and nut were fused together. What happened? At times, the clamp's bolt and nut become bound or locked together, making it hard or impossible to open the clamp to service the connection. This is known as galling. Galling can occur in clamps in which the bolt both the bolt and nut are made of similar materials. When accidentally over torqued, either manually or mechanically, if there is a problem with the threads or if the threads are dirty, these separate pieces of metal can fuse or bind to each other so they cold weld or fuse together. In some cases, maintenance personnel will need to cut the clamps off before the piping can be removed. Nothing halts production like a galling problem. You'll be happy to know that LJ Star offers a full line of anti-gall clamps that are produced to the highest hygienic engineering standards and are cons constantly being updated in response to customer feedback and industry requirements. The nut and bolt are made of dissimilar materials so that adhesion or galling is less likely to occur. Can you recommend different hygienic clamp nut configurations for different applications? Since all LJ Star sanitary clamps can be made with anti-galling characteristics, we can create a customized clamp to suit the unique requirements of any critical processing application. A patented anti-galling safety clamp is also available. The half-threaded bolt on the safety clamp keeps the clamp in place to minimize safety issues. Now that we've covered the most common questions customers have about sanitary fittings and how to avoid galling, it seems like a good time to connect the dots and share some best practices for assembly. As you know, the routine activity of disassembling, cleaning, and reconfiguring clamp connections is essential in maintaining sterile process control in highly regulated applications, such as pharmaceutical or biotech. If a process fluid can get out, then there's the chance that contaminants can get in and an entire batch could be scrapped. More importantly, though, is the safety of those working with clamp connections. When it comes to process equipment, maintenance and training are critical to ensuring reliability and safety. Let's talk about the best ways to correctly install a clamp connection. First, before the clamp connection is installed, a close inspection of the ferrules, gasket, and clamp must be performed. It starts by inspecting the ferrule. One, check the alignment of the ferrules. The alignment of the ferrule is critical. The clamp cannot be used to pull pipes and components into alignment. Check the gap between the ferrule faces. Ideally, to minimize pipe stress, the gap between the ferrules should be the same width as the gasket. Check the surface of the ferrules for imperfections. Defects such as a gouge or scratch can create a leak pathway. Even a tiny scratch can be an area where bacteria can grow. Examine the ferrules for residue. Residue from a previous gasket should be carefully removed to provide a smooth, flat surface. If there is residue on the mating face of the ferrule, the gasket will not seat properly. The next step is to inspect the gasket. Prior to installation, visually inspect the gasket for discoloration, cracks, and imperfections, such as gouges, tears, or product buildup on the surface of the gasket. The gasket also needs to be checked for pliability, as they can become brittle with use and age. An elastomeric gasket should not crack, crack when it's flexed or bent. Confirm that the size of the gasket is correct, along with using an imperfect or expire gasket 
the use of an incorrectly sized gasket will allow for voids and intrusions where material can collect and bacteria can grow. This can easily happen when gasket size size is one and a half inches and smaller. Now inspect the clamp. Check the clamp for common defects such as deformations and bent components, loose hinges, damaged threads, and any indentations caused by uneven compression. Once you've inspected the main components, you can then move to the installation. Step one, position the gasket between the ferrule flanges. Step two, align the bead of the gasket with the grooves of both ferrule flange faces. Step three, mate the faces together and then apply the clamp. Make sure both flanges are within the clamp groove. When the clamp is tightened, it squeezes on the flanges, pushing the ferrules towards each other. This creates a proper seal. The clamp connection should perfectly align the two ferrules, providing uniform crush to the gasket. The final phase of the installation phase is where most customers tend to over tighten or under tighten the clamp. Under tightening the clamp will leave gaps between the ferrule and the gasket. Even if the connection doesn't drip, the gaps may trap material where clean in place processes cannot reach. That's where bacteria could collect. On the other hand, over tightening the clamp will over compress the gasket and cause it to protrude into the pipeline. Any such intrusion will create a foothold for buildup and bacteria. In order to get the proper degree of tightness, either hand tighten or use an approved torque tool. Always tighten to the appropriate torque specification. It's better to be safe than sorry. To ensure quality and safety, be sure to inspect clamps regularly. It is very important to monitor high pressure steam lines for changes in torque. Due to thermal cycling, the compression on the gasket will vary. Gaskets can also lose elasticity or they can cold flow with age. These factors can degrade the quality of the connection and cause leaks. This can be avoided by performing maintenance on an adequate schedule, replacing gaskets as necessary, and checking for clamps loosened by vibration. While they are relatively simple in their design, sanitary clamps must be used correctly correctly to ensure a safe, leak-free connection. This should be accomplished by providing training for any individual who is responsible for working with sanitary clamps. A well-designed training program should cover clamp inspection, installation, and maintenance, as well as any topics that pertain to specific operational conditions, such as the materials being transferred and the operating parameters of the system. Thank you for watching our webcast on sanitary fittings. We hope you found the information helpful, and as always, we are here to answer any additional questions you might have. We have a full range of handbooks, white papers, and videos on clamp and selection and installation you can use at our website, www.ljstar.com, or reach out and talk to one of our application specialists. When it comes to the best and high quality sanitary fittings, LJ Star has the right fit for even the most demanding applications.